Hi everyone, thanks for coming today. Hi Harold. Hi. Hi Tony. Hello. Thanks guys for coming today. Um, so today we are going to talk about uh, the two big names in the fast food industry, Burger King and uh, Wendy's. And uh, here is a little video to give you some information about these two big companies. Please enjoy. More than 11 million guests visit Burger King restaurant every day. Two very determined men by the name of James McLemore and David Edgerton had the same vision to offer citizens great tasting, inexpensive food that would be served in a clean and welcoming environment. These entrepreneurs had already gained experience in the restaurant business in the past. In 1954, the first Burger King was opened to the public in Miami, Florida. By developing the first Burger King, James McLemore and David Edgerton had given the community a comfortable environment to eat inside the restaurant and they were the first fast food business to offer, to offer people these options as well as going to the drive through Puerto Rico in 1963 was the first inter international state to have the restaurant. Starting in 1998, Canada had an increase in growth where they have opened over 120 restaurants within seven years. The country of Canada is a large significant role to Burger King being as successful as it has been. The company could open another 400 restaurants in the next 10 years. Wendy's is the third largest hamburger chain in the world right behind Burger King. The company was founded by Dave Thomas who opened the first Wendy's old fashioned rest, uh, hamburger restaurant in 1969 in Columbus, Ohio. The restaurant was named after one of his daughters. Thomas was already a successful entrepreneur who had owned several KFC restaurants. He focused on providing fresh, made-to-order hamburgers for customers. Thomas appeared in many of the chain's TV commercials before passing away in 2002. Wendy's plans to develop 25 new company restaurants in 2013 and 40 new franchise restaurants plus approximately 60 new international franchise and joint venture restaurants. Pestle analysis of Burger King and Wendy's. Economic factors. Organizations like Burger King and Wendy's, which have global presence, are affected by the changes in inflation and exchange rates. For this reason, these chains may have to adapt to the issues and effects of the economic environment. The economic factors also determine the supply and demand relationship of the raw materials within the organization. Social factors. Burger King is targeting at children and business class people. They have opened all the restaurants in the malls and near to business centers. They also make kids zones in outlets for kids. This is similar to Wendy's and both are trying to come up with healthy food as well. Technological factors. The company's key tool for marketing is by means of television advertisements. Elements like the inventory system and the management of value chain of the company allows for easy payments for theirs. The integration of technology in the operations of Burger King and Wendy's tends to add value to their products. They have also implemented new technology to increase the speed of proceeding of its products. Environment factors. The social responsibility of Burger King and Wendy's on a region is influenced by the operations of the company in that specific region. This entails accusations of environmental damage. Legal factors. Legal aspects like tax obligations, employment standards, and quality requirements are only a few among the other equally important legal factors on which Burger King and Wendy's has to be taken into consideration. 7P for Burger King and Wendy's. Product. Both companies offer similar food, for example, burgers, french fries, soft drinks, desserts, and salad. Price. Quite affordable product. However, Wendy's is a little bit more expensive. Affordability is the importance to brand and its integrity. Place. Both outlets are in prime locations, almost in all big cities, at residential areas and malls. Burger King is global, whereas Wendy's locations are in North America. Promotions. They use different media like TV, hoarding, and bus shelters. Also, the placing of the pamphlets and banners in all around the outlet help as well. People. Employees all in standard uniform with a friendly phone service that deliver consistent standards of hospitality. Physical evidence. They focus on clean and hygienic interiors of its outlets. At the same time, the interiors are attractive and fast food joint maintain a proper decorum at its outlet. Process. The process is transparent and both visible to customers. 
Both fast food companies allow the customers to view and judge its customers as they are allowed in the area where process takes place. The customers are also allowed to check ingredients and food. The employees should also greet the customers with a smile. These are parts of the financial report of Burger King and Wendy's, which helps for better understanding of the business and fundamental analysis, which contains research of the financial statements. The market capitalization of Burger King is almost three times Wendy's, leaving it to nearly six billion. The sales revenue for Burger King for 2012 is one billion nine hundred ninety-six million and three hundred thousand dollars, where Wendy's is two billion five hundred five million two hundred forty-two thousand, what makes it higher than Burger King, when we take in consideration that Wendy's only operates in North America and Burger King operates in worldwide. For North America, Wendy's has sold two billion. Two hundred thirty-one million two hundred seventy thousand, whereas Burger, Burger King has sold one billion two hundred sixty-one million one hundred thousand, which is half of what Wendy's has sold. Nevertheless, Burger King's net income is twelve times bigger than Wendy's, with a figure of one hundred seventeen million and seven hundred thousand. Furthermore, Burger King has higher operating income than Wendy's because of the higher gross income for Burger King. The SWOT analysis for Burger King strengths. Burger King has strong market position with over 12,000 restaurants operating in 86 countries and U.S. territories. It is the world's second largest fast food restaurant chain in terms of the total number of restaurants. As a result of its higher franchise mix, the company is able to grow with minimal capital expenditure and is assured of regular income in the form of fees and royalties. Weaknesses Although Burger King operates in 86 countries worldwide, its operations are heavily concentrated in the U.S. and Canada. Also, there have been legal issues, such as a violation of accessibility requirements under federal and state law. Opportunities. The food service market in the U.S. has been witnessing strong growth in the recent past after experiencing a decline during the economic downturn. The company is accelerating its international development through strategic partnerships and joint ventures with strong local partners in high-growth emerging markets. Threats. Competition from well-established food service companies, McDonald's and Wendy's, are Burger King's principal competitors, and also labor costs are rising in the U.S. Wendy's SWOT analysis. Strengths. Wendy's has a strong market position in North America. There are 6,186 restaurants in our operation there. Wendy's has become a popular brand among the customers for the quality of food offered by it. Weaknesses. Wendy's has a limited scale of operations compared to its competitors. Many of its competitors, such as McDonald's, Yum Brands, Domino's Pizza, and Burger King, are much larger in terms of revenues, which gives them a strong bargain power. Opportunities. Strategic agreements are likely to improve the group's market position. The group has been making significant changes to its pricing strategy and interior of the outlets to threats. Wendy's faces direct and indirect competition from a number of well-established peers, including national and regional non-burger sandwich chains, such as Panera Bread, Subway, Quinzos, as well as hamburger chains such as McDonald's and Burger King. Similarities and differences between Wendy's and Burger King. Both restaurants serve fast food hamburgers and fries, but each tastes a little different. Each has different packaging and branding. The service will almost be the same and the overall experience you'll get each company will not be a massive difference. Wendy's has 6,650 restaurants. Burger King has 12,997 restaurants. Burger King has a greater number of locations, but it focuses much more globally, whereas Wendy's focus is on North American market. Wendy's menu items are more expensive than Burger King, as it's trying to compete with McDonald's when it comes out to price point. Wendy's has now introduced the breakfast menu. This is completely new for the chain, which has not previously paid much attention to breakfast, catering more to lunch and dinner crowds, whereas Burger King already had this before for a while now. Burger King is known for the special burgers such as the Whopper, but Wendy's is also coming out with their burgers with a slogan, hot and juicy. Wendy's is focused on different segments. They do not only sell burgers, for example, Wendy's competitors are national and regional non-burger sandwich chains such as Panera Bread, Subway, and Quiznos. Burger King only competes with McDonald's in burger chain. However, it also competes with restaurants offering alternative menus. Well, we would like to thank you for watching. Thanks, Harold, and thanks, Tony. Thanks for having us. Um, now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us. Um, there is an email address that should appear on the screen. Thank you and goodbye.